Hi my beautiful Leos and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your August reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for August, um, I have now finished my website so it is ready and up for you guys. So those of you who are interested in getting a personal reading or you want to ask a question, everything will now be down below and uh, yeah, you can order from my website now. And for those of you that are revisiting, thanks for coming again. Those of you that are new, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so let's see. What can we get for the beautiful Leos for August? Show me what Leos need to see for the month of August. This is your month. Starting off with justice. Beautiful. Strength. There's you guys. Judgment. Scorpio energy here. We have the Knight of Swords. The Ten of Coins, the Two of Wands, the Eight of Coins, the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> All right, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. For some of you, there might be an ending that had happened within a relationship. You might have been in a relationship that was for... You know, this is a really steady relationship that you've had for a couple of years um, and you're splitting from that relationship. For some of you, this could be that you're going to court. Uh, there could be legal matters that you're going through. There could have been a divorce that you are currently going through or you're currently thinking about going through with a divorce. You know, there's some sort of judgment call that needs to be made here. Some sort of decision that you're not making right now. You're kind of just, you know, in that mode of you know just trying to think but it's like there's too much on your mind so it's hard for you to think there's a decision that needs to be made but it's really hard for you to make that decision right now it seems like you know you're losing a lot of um a lot of confidence around this time some of you guys may be you know worried about aging worried about you know not being where it is that you want to be within your life right now I feel like you know around our birthday months we're always like you know, I always consider it like your own personal New Year's, right? Because it's like you, you usually, not usually, but I feel like for the most part, we all think about where we really are, you know, on our birthday compared to where we were our last birthday or things like that. So it's like, I feel like you're just kind of thinking about where you are in your life and where you want to be. You know, you're not in the place that you want to be right now. It's almost like, you know, your life kind of flipped, but you are going to get, you know, what is right, what you deserve because you have justice here with the eight of coins here. This is you, you know, mastering your craft. If this is a career that you thought was going to be very successful and you're now finding out it's not, it's like you're going to rework, you know, what didn't work and make it work, whatever it is, you know, your outcome is going to be really great here. I see lots of movement, lots of communication coming towards you and offer of love here. Some of you could be getting uh, or meeting a new uh, water sign. This could be somebody younger than you. I see somebody, you know, lots of communication within social media. So this could be that, you know, your social media, uh, you meet somebody new through social media, somebody leaves you a nice comment and it kind of goes from there. But this says somebody who has a sweet, genuine offer, um, for you. For some of you, this is an offer that has been delayed, an offer that you've been waiting for for a very long time. The reason why this offer was delayed, this is somebody that could have left you on the cold in the past. I see the reason why this offer was delayed is because you weren't where you needed to be uh, spiritually and on a soul level in order to be in this relationship. So either you or your person had to take time. There was a delay. There wasn't, you know, you guys weren't communicating in the way that you should have been. There was a lot of aggression maybe, and you just weren't on the same page. And it's really because, you know, one of you guys wasn't complete on the inside enough to really, you know, be in a successful relationship together. So this is somebody that, um, five of coins. Yeah. Ace of, yeah. Beautiful. Ace of swords, ace of cups, absolutely beautiful. 10 of swords or 10 of wands in reverse. I love this reading guys. Um, so yeah, this is somebody that, you know, you have been left out in the cold by or they've left you out in the cold. You guys are just not on the same page and there, you know, there could have been distance or this could be a situation that you're currently going through right now if this isn't somebody that you haven't talked to within a couple of years. But I see this person's finally getting clarity on the great love that you guys share, the love that you guys have together. They're getting clarity and you guys are finally going to have a victory if you accept this person back. 
or if you decide to push through with this person, because I do see here with the Ace of Swords, um, you know, you're both having clarity. This is, you know, success. This is, you know, it's almost as if, you know, this person has been holding back and they're finally now able to speak their truth or you're finally able to communicate and speak your truth with the Ace of Cups here. Uh, Ten of Wands in reverse. It's like, you know, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, this could definitely be a new person coming in for you, Ace of Swords, right? But for some of you, this really is somebody from the past, you know, with judgment especially. It could be somebody coming back from your past, somebody that you gave it a long try with or that you pictured the future with, but it just ended. It didn't, you know, go as far as you had pictured it to go because it wasn't the right time. Uh, there is somebody that is starting to fall in love with you. The person you are interested in is starting to fall in love with you. They are feeling very romantic around you, very emotional. You are somebody that fulfills this person on an emotional level. All right. So let me pull some more. Let me just... What else can we get for the beautiful Leos for the month ahead? All right, so the Three of Coins and the Ten of Cups. So it looks like you're going to be putting in a lot of effort if this is a relationship that has, you know, been, you've been separated from each other for a while and you're now coming back together. It's like this person wants to actually put in the work this time. They're coming prepared, fully prepared. They see the finish line. They see the Ten of Cups. They see where they want to be with you. They're willing to invest. They're willing to put in the work this time. So this is somebody that, you know, it's almost like in the beginning of the relationship, you saw the finish line. You saw where you wanted to be, you pictured yourself, you know, you knew you could end up, this is somebody that you would want to end up with, but they just weren't there yet. You know, for some of you, this is vice versa, but it's like now both of you finally see the finish line. So you're both willing to put in the work, put in the time to really make this happen. This is really beautiful for you guys. Ace of Wands, so many aces. For some of you, this is an absolute new beginning. Some of you could be deciding to go off on your own and meeting somebody completely new. I mean, somebody very, very passionate, somebody very, you know, Somebody that you can look like, you know, this person's going to be inspiring to you. I feel like they're going to be a little bit mysterious. Um, very inspiring, very, very attractive, very like the sexual chemistry between the two of you guys is going to be on another level here. Um, lots of lots of attraction between you and this person. Yeah, the fool. So for some of you, this is somebody new or this is having a completely new blank start with the person that, you know, you've been waiting for, you've been on a different level from, which you know, when people start again, there's a not a large chance that it's going to work out, right? Unless you've really done your healing, done your inner work. But as a fool, this is completely finishing. You finished off the lessons were complete with the world and now you're starting with the fool. So a brand new, fresh start. And it looks beautiful, whether it's, you know, solo or whether it's with somebody new. The star, yeah, your wish coming true. Absolutely beautiful temperance. There's lots of major arcanas um, in this reading here too. So you know, I feel like this is going to be a big month for you guys. This is your birthday month. You know, things are really, you know, you're Leos. You guys do it up big. And I really feel like this month you're going to be doing things up really big. And I feel like especially like if there's something that you've been pushing for and wanting it to happen like near your birthday, around your birthday, or just in general, I feel like that's coming true. It's like you're going to get your wish on your birthday or around your birthday. Um, What it is that you've wanted, what it is that you've been waiting for. You've been so, so patient um, this could even be with a partner, you know, getting back with the partner or even just getting clarity or closure with the partner that you had a lot of conflict with in the past. It's like whatever it is that you, you're, you desire so deeply on a soul level, you know, um, you're finally going to get that. And for some of you, this, whatever it is that you've wanted, not having that was a reason, or this could be a person not having what it is that they tr truly and deeply wanted was why they weren't able to be in a relationship. They needed to have that in order to you know be able to focus on other things um so that could be the case for some of you guys but this looks really beautiful i have lots of you know energies here we have you guys came out very strongly we have scorpio um we have aquarius we have libra here we have aquarius again sagittarius Pisces, Queen of Wands, I love it, I love it, yes, you guys, so the star, I love, I love this energy, the Queen of Wands is like one of my favorite cards, and so is the star, but you guys have the sun too, so now you guys have both your cards, this is literally perfect, this is such a beautiful way to end this reading, you know, you guys are coming into your energy, like when I say you're gonna be like 
on the best level that you've been in in a very long time like this is going to be so amazing you're going to be looking your best feeling your best you know when you're getting ready for your birthday and it's that one time a year it's like i feel like you guys are going to look like that all month long like you guys are just going to be shining you're going to be glowing and you're just going to be in your light i feel like you're just you've really found yourself you really i feel like the last month was so hard on you guys and it brought a lot of things to the surface and now you're finally at the point where you've healed from those things last month you know was hell for a lot of you guys and now you've healed and you're you're seeing the sunshine in front of you there's a lot of growth a lot of illumination around this reading a lot of you know huge realizational moments for some of you um you know the star the sun this could be um this could be some sort of fame you know with the eight of wands some sort of fame within social media some of you are starting a new business, whatever it is that you want, you're going to be very successful at it. The Queen of Wands knows what she wants, so you already know what it is that you want. You just need to go for it because it looks like it's going to be an absolute beautiful month for love, career, you know, anything that it is that you're concerned about, it looks freaking beautiful this month. So I hope you guys have an amazing month. For those of you that would like a personal reading, like I said before, my website is down below. I hope you guys have a great week and or month and I'll see you guys soon. Bye my loves.